Hey what is up guys, Tava here and I just finished making my brand new website using Google Sites. And something that I added to my site on my homepage was adding these little icons for social media that if you click on them, it'll take you directly to the website. But while researching on how to do this, I really couldn't find any good tutorials online for how to do this in Google Sites. So I thought today that I'd make a tutorial on how to use social media icons that take you to websites inside of Google Sites. So for whatever reason, even though I think it should be there, Google didn't add this option directly into the new Google Sites, which I think is kind of a flaw. But if you look at the homepage of my website and go to tavkessler.com, you can see it brings up this banner and everything with my name and what I do. And then down below, I have links to social media such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, all sites that I use pretty regularly. And if you click on them, you can see that if you click on Instagram, it redirects you to my Instagram account. And if you click on Twitter, it redirects you to my Twitter account. And if you click on the YouTube icon, it of course redirects you to my YouTube account. So these are important links to have on your website because you want people to see what else you do and you want them to be able to get there very easily from your homepage. And it helps to have the icons there because then people know what website it is very obviously without having to have a written title. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this as easily as Google allows it to be done. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new site just for example. It's just going to be called website. So how you actually do this is going to kind of go against what you think you should probably do. But the first thing you're going to do, go into Google and search for the Instagram icon. Icon. And what you're going to do now is go to images, select one that you like. Ideally, if you click on it, you'll see on the outside it has these little checkered dots, which means it's a PNG file, which means it's a transparent background. That's more ideal. So if you find one like this that you like, right click on it and do save image as and simply save the image to your downloads. And now what you're going to do is go back to your Google site and go over here on the right under insert and go to images. When you click on images, go to upload and you should find in your downloads that icon that you just downloaded. So click open and in your site, it's going to open this icon. And at first the Instagram icon is going to be huge, way too big than you want. So you're going to use the little tools on the side to crop down this image. So once you get the icon in there the way that you want, what you're going to do is click on it and you can see that it comes up with these little options, which are crop, uncrop, and then insert link, which is what you want. So on the icon you have selected, you're going to click insert link. And the link you want to enter is the one to the website you want to have come up if you click on that icon. So what you're going to do is find the direct link to that Instagram website and you want to make sure it's exactly accurate so it goes to that site, not anywhere else. So you're going to go to Instagram and look up the account that you want to link to that icon. So for this example, I'm just going to use my photography account here. So you can see at the top it has this link for my Instagram. So I'm going to take that, copy it, go back to the site and paste it in the link place. And then once you paste it, just click apply. So now you can see this link is applied to this icon. So now if I preview this site to see if the link works, I can click right up here at the top to preview and it will show me an example of my website and you can see the icon right here. So if I click on the icon, you can see it opens, redirects and brings me to my Instagram account. And you can really easily do the same thing for Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Just look up the icon for the image, download it, upload it into the site and then link it using the website's link. After this, it should be live on your website, so if someone clicks on the icon, it will take them directly to where you want them to go. This is just a little tip that I want to share that I don't think is that well known, especially in the new Google Sites, and I think that people should use more because it's a really good way to share your social medias through your website. I know this is just one little tip, so if you want to see a complete tutorial on how I made my website, comment below and say that you want to see that because I would be totally down to make that tutorial. Anyway, that's it for today. If you found this video helpful in any way, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.